a mighty conqueror. What separated him from the resurrection of Lazarus and the widow's son is that when he came up from Joseph Arimathea's tomb, he came up as the conqueror of death. He came up as the conqueror of hell. He came up as the conqueror of the grave. He came up as the conqueror of the devil. He came up as king of kings and lord of lords. And for that reason, he was able to say, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And it says, because he is the resurrection and the life, he says that those who believe in me, that they shall live forevermore. They shall live forevermore. And it says, I have the keys of hell, death, and the grave. So that means that he has authority over death, hell, and the grave. And what that lets us know is that when we pray, we pray in the name of Jesus. And when we pray in that blessed name, we're praying in the authority of him who has all authority. We're praying in the name of him who conquered death, hell, and the grave. And that gives me confidence in a world full of chaos and confusion that I have authority in the name of Jesus to approach the throne of God and to bring all of my trials Bring all of my tribulations, all of my pressing concerns. And I can go to God in the name, in the authority of Jesus. The one who has authority over death, hell, and the grave. And for that reason, all fear is cast away. Faith is awakened on the inside of me. I'm able to live the abundant life that God has ordained from the foundation of the world. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. I pray that each of you will have a happy resurrection day in the Lord today. May God be with you. Please like and follow us on Facebook. We'll be so happy and we'll be so grateful to you. May God bless you. Amen and amen. If you are one today, I don't want to forget about this. You need to make a decision for Christ. Make your decision now. While breath is in your body, choose Christ and choose him today. Amen and amen.